Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is a video on this uh, a program utility called Xcrypt, as you can see here, which protects uh, files uh, with strong encryption. Encryption. And uh, the video was made on the 6th November 2012. I downloaded it the other day, uh, and it's really a very very good free program you can um, use to to do just that. And th the reason I started this uh, be is because there's all this talk about cloud computing. And there are services out there like Dropbox, Live Mesh, SkyDrive, BoxNet, to name a few. There's whole whole loads of others. Um, and um, I've put links on general advice uh, in the UK given by GetSafe Online uh, for on cloud computing. So you can look at that from there. Business cloud computing, although it's for business, it applies to private use as well. The risks, etc. Et choosing a provider, hosting. Um, contracts etc and also a uh, very very good uh, information on the information commissioners commissioners office and there's the website ico.gov both are government websites I mentioned uh, and cloud computing is talked about there how it works uh, using uh, to share your fi files and folders when you upload them on those uh, service providers so you've got to think about encryption and security uh, uh, if you don't want to uh, have people look at your um, private information etc and you don't want to share them so you are in control but if, if the cloud computing they're in control so this program is very good and this website this description in the uh, link will be in the description uh, it talks about um, all the bits here you can read the installation procedure etc how to use it and um, there's a manual uh, for example when you download it you click on download here um, the one I downloaded was that one for Windows 7 32 bit so you can choose the one you it applies to your machine and it's a Windows program and there's the manual uh, which details in PDF what to, how to use the program right enough of that as I say I've downloaded it the other day and that's the program uh, small file so I'm going to run it in uh, uh, sandbox mode because I've already got it on this machine this is the first time I'm trying this uh, in sandbox uh, obviously you need an administrator password and if it doesn't work it may be because uh, I've already got it so it, it'll crash but we'll just go through what happens with the installation so you get this box just agree and you get this linked smart to um you, you you don't want to um, do that one uh, well I've unticked that it says recommended but they would recommend that so I'm just going to install that and you get this box welcome right so you go through the setup and it says change repair because I've already got it uh, you can uh, I'm going to cancel that now then let's do change As I say, it might not work because I've already got it. So you, you basically, um, if I cancel that and finish that, uh, it's not modified. So uh, that's the file, that's the manual. And um, once you've installed it, um, and it, the installation procedure is this, is a, you get this. Um, you may not get the other box, and uh, you got you get that box. And then if you get something like that, you can accept or you do not wish to install. That's the main thing. So I, I decided not to do that until you get to this bit. And then you just run it. And there's an option to put your email. I decided to do it later, cancelled it. And then that's it. You're done. So having uh, done that, let's see how it works. So um, go back. I've done a test folder, which has got... Um, you know PDF lighthouse passwords this is also from their website and um, picture etc so so you say you got that uh, bingo and you got their word document which opens up 
as an example so you all these you want to encrypt them right you just right click and it, you don't get a folder or, or program in the startup you get uh, in uh, right click and you get this program here so when you go to that you get encrypt encrypt make a copy in case you muck up the original and you can do a, an exe file and then decrypt rename etc so we'll, we'll go through this first you encrypt the folder and the contents and choose a password so you just do I'm just going to do test for this exercise I'm not associated with this company it's just purely for sharing oh did it wrong so you make you got to make sure that's right and it goes through this depending on how fast your machine is and it you get all this fantastic and you got the names as well and you can't open any of them until for example that one until you put the password simple so you can then upload this to the cloud and um, obviously if you choose a stronger encryption it'll be better the only problem is if anyone's got access to your machine if you look at their website uh, they, they can do this so you obviously you are in control and you decide that and you can also delete this file uh, so there's no protection only encryption and password protection right now you can also if you don't want people to you don't want to re reveal their names um, the of the files you can rename them so you just simple rename and that's it open it and it, you get all this it still keeps the original um, name if you just go back and then do it's so quick um, decrypt and put the password obviously if you lose that you you, you 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 know you lost everything and it goes back to the original which is brilliant and you can edit them and do whatever so you can hide things like that and that's how simple it is uh, there there is an option to um, make a, an extra security which is a key file and uh, what that does is uh, you read this instruction creates a random data it's a bit like key pass if you lose that as well then you you know it's optional but it gives you much stronger security so it creates a file like so my key file etc and then you save it but I won't do that because um, I'm not interested only if you want extra security if it's very very you want to make it secure do that otherwise it's good enough just to encrypt and decrypt okay uh, the, you can also shred files and delete them very quick it does it uh, quickly so for example um, if I want to do uh, it uh, shreds it are you sure done it's quick and it's gone um, yeah so um, there are other uh, features about passwords on their site but I thought I'd share this with you it's excellent it's very quick and um, worth thinking about if you're uh, using that it's obviously other programs like TrueCrypt and and uh, other encryption programs um, uh, they are paid some of them uh, TrueCrypt isn't that's fine and as I say I've uh, started using this really really find it very useful and uh, that's all you get once you've installed it you get it on any anywhere on the machine right click and you look for that sign and um, I quickly hide things so if you encrypt it absolutely brilliant obviously the stronger uh, the password you use the better um, there is an option to actually um, when you do that it says uh, because I've already done that uh, let's decrypt that oops trying to do it quickly with you can remember for description or use default uh, I've chosen not to do that uh, but if you read the manual it talks you about why you you can do that etc and um, yeah so it's it's done Uh, you can create the memory as well and uh, that just tells you what that is I uh, hope you like the video thanks for watching and bye for now